So I'm going to do a quick video here showing you how to upgrade your firmware on your CR-10S. So there's been some questions uh, about how to make it, uh, uh, how to upgrade it from the stock firmware to the TH3D. And I'm only going to cover the part uh, where you actually do the upgrade from Octoprint. There's a lot of things that show you how to compile and and make your uh, you know make your uh, yeah you know, uh, compile the firmware uh, uh, for your machine. So I'm not going to go over any of that. I'm going to assume you've already done it and go from there. So the first step is you need to have your uh, Octoprint set up here with uh, the firmware updater installed. So you'll just um, and I believe you have to have it connected to the uh, to the machine already. You'll select the USB zero device, which should already be on there. And then if you go in here, you'll want to use these settings. So you have to have AVR dude installed, which you can see, you can find out how to install it under the Octoprint, uh, page, which I'll include in the, in the summary here. Uh, the AVR MCU for the CR-10S is the AT Mega 2560. Now, Keep in mind that you can, uh, uh, you, there's another choice under here, which are a couple other choices, but this is the one you want for the CR-10S. And AVR Dude, which this is the default path, um, after you install it, it should be here, but you'll, you'll want to test it. And then the AVR programming type for the CR-10S is wiring. Um, fortunately, I selected the wrong one, and it didn't cause any problems. So you'll want to select these settings. Uh, let's see if there's any stuff here. Oh, post flash settings. So you can use these post flash G code. Uh, I don't know if it matters, but M502 I think resets the E prom, and uh, M117 uh, just prints firmware flashed on the screen on the uh, LCD. Just so you know, it's done, which is kind of a nice thing to know. So basically, what you're going to do is uh, you're going to put the file here so let me bring up this so browse so in this file you're gonna put your your hex file that you've compiled so not the bootloader which there's actually I think checking in the octoprint but you're gonna put this file the hex file and then you're gonna click flash from file now I'm not going to do it here because I've already flashed it. No reason to do it. But you click flash, flash from file and you don't touch anything. Uh, go look at your printer. Make sure it's uh, flashed. You'll say flashing finished if you put that uh, the G code in. And then you're all done. It'll reboot and it'll come up with the TH3D firmware. Pretty easy. Uh, like I said, you know I can answer questions in the comments. And hopefully you guys find this useful for, uh, you know, updating your firmware on your CR-10S.